Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this third video in our series of the interview with NASA on the X-57 electric aircraft, we will look at the power and cooling demands of the electrical system. Enjoy the interview. So the X-57 goes from uh, something like 90 or 100 kilowatt in cruise to 250 kilowatts at takeoff at certain points. And so that that variation in loading on the battery is, is one of the main um, sizing points for how you select your cells and how you lay out your battery and um, what the, um, the, the difference between the um, power and energy capability of the cells is for, for the uh, energy storage system. So that turns out to give us really good insight into uh, some of the same challenges for the vertical takeoff uh, style vehicles. Okay, and then you're not really talking about the total energy content, which is kilowatt hours, um, but you're talking mm -hmm. about the instantaneous power that you can provide and the time window over which you need to provide it, so you don't you don't hit any cooling limits. Is that one of the main things? You don't overheat the battery system during takeoff and landing. Exactly. So yeah, and our battery system is not as much of a challenge as is the cooling at each of the individual inverters and and motors. So everything on our aircraft is is direct air cooled. We we don't have any heat exchangers okay. um, with uh, liquid cooling loops or anything. Our our battery is uh, passively cooled in the cabin. Our motors and in, and inverters are all using the the free stream airflow to directly cool them. So that means you're kind of in part relying on thermal inertia of the components connected uh, to the ones that heat up to actually give you enough time to take off before they would overheat we do on the battery i would say yeah. but we don't really have much thermal inertia on our inverters or our motors those those basically go to their operating temperature in in seconds so we, <laughs> yeah. we really do have to to dig in and design for those to, to operate efficiently and, and minimize the amount of heat that needs to be rejected, but also make sure that we understand the, the cooling uh, across our flight envelope really well with the airflow paths. So that was it for our third video in the series of the interview with NASA on the X-57 electric aircraft. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to our channel, and so on. Stay tuned for more, by the way, because in the fourth and final video, we will discuss how this plane will actually fly. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.